A lot's happened since Diamond and Silk were in Waters World, two of my favorite guests. These ladies were internet sensations for supporting Donald Trump. They were on the Trump chain early, and they got it right. And they join me now via Skype. So ladies, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much did you guys miss being in Waters World? <laughs> we miss you a whole lot. A PM. Yes. I miss you guys yes. too. So let's take a trip down memory lane. We haven't spoken in a while. Donald Trump was elected. And what were you guys doing on election night? I'm very curious. Was there champagne involved? Give us the details. We were, we were in New York at the Victory Party. Nice. And whenever he gave his speech, we was on stage with him. That's Ooh. where we were at. So you guys are like in the inner circle. Is that right? Yes, we yes. were. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you guys cabinet level people? Are we going to see you guys walking in and out of the White House, having lunch? What's going on? You probably will see us walking in there for a party or a <laughs> dinner. That's right. But listen, our voices will best serve Donald Trump outside the rim of D.C. <laughs> we want to be the speakers, the truth tellers about what's going on with the administration. Yes. And when it comes time for him to push his agenda, we can talk about it with the American people. Now keep in mind, Diamond and Silk is not political correct. That's right. <laughs> yes, and that's why we love having you on. Tell me your impression of the transition. From my take, the media has been trying to smear it since it got going. They've been trying to delegitimize President-elect Donald Trump. Do you guys see it that way? How do you see it? Oh, absolutely. Most what they're trying to do is paint this dark cloud of doubt over his administration even before he's about to be sworn in. But it's not going to work because we, the American people, we got out and we voted for him. That's we right. voted for him because we wanted not only hope, but we wanted change. We got tired of just hoping for something. That's we right. wanted him to come in and change some things. We know he's going to do it. So I think he's going to be fine in all of this. And Donald Trump did more for the American people in eight weeks than Obama did in eight years. Yeah, Boom. he's already had jobs saved and uh, he's racking up That's a lot right. of victories. The latest controversy involves hacking. Now, people are saying they were involved, the Russians, with hacking our democracy. Still not really clear what that means. What's your hacking defense, ladies? Do you guys have, like, passwords and software? How do you, how do you guys prevent people from checking out what's going on in your phones? Well, I don't think you can prevent that. No? Somebody in the bedroom can be hacking your system. Ooh. The thing is, Russia did not influence us to vote for Donald Trump. That's right. We were on the Trump train from the very beginning. And if anybody hacked this here, it was Hillary Clinton's hacking call That's that right. hacked this election because, you know, she had a bad call and it would just be hacking everywhere. Mm -hmm. but, but listen, we got out and we voted for Donald Trump because we wanted to vote, not because somebody influenced us to do it. That's right. That's right. And I don't think the Russians made people not show up at any of her rallies. I don't think they had anything to do with the enthusiasm levels there. Now, the balls are coming up next weekend down there in D.C. Are you guys going to be uh, dressed to the nines, showing us how to dance, or what? Yes. We will be at the inaugural. We will be at the ball, and we're going to have a good time. We are so yeah. excited. The 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, is going to be sworn in. We are excited about it all. That's all right. right. Listen, I just want you guys to do the box step with me. Uh, maybe the waltz, something like that. <laughs> I'm not ready for the tango, but if you guys can teach me anything, I'm all ears. Okay, all that's right. fine. We know how to shake the yes, pants right. We know them. how to shake our shoulders. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there will be no shaking in Waters World. I will let you guys do the shaking. Um, all right. A lot of the celebrities are boycotting the inaugural festivities. I don't even know if people really want these celebrities there to begin with. What do you think about these clowns in Hollywood saying, I'm not going? I bet half of them weren't even invited. <laughs> Well, stay home if you're not going. That's right. But people like Diamond and Silk and other people are going to be there, and we are going to celebrate. Remember, he won this election by the, with the American the people, people, with normal people. Yes. So it's going to be up, us up there celebrating and partying back, baby. That's right. And this yes. inauguration is not about celebrity status. It is about the American people. That's right. All right. Well, I think you two are going to be the only celebrities down there at the balls, and I look forward to maybe dancing with you. Thank you very much, oh, Diamond and Silk, everybody.